missteps and setbacks. But as soldiers always do, they just keep marching on. Loyal to flag and country, constitution and democracy. So that when bells for them are rung and their last taps is sung, generations will see our country free. Welcome to the show, General Jose Faustino Jr., the Armed Forces Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Andres Centino, Army Commanding General, Vice Admiral Ed Luis Bordado, the Navy Flag Officer in Command, and Major General Arthur Cordura, Air Force Acting Commanding General. And there is a fifth guest on the show, the static displays behind us, the latest military hardware in the arsenal of the Armed Forces, which we will show up close to you our viewers a little later on in this show. In the meantime, let's begin with this uh, General Faustino. Let's talk about the internal, the, the move now from internal security operations to external or uh, territorial defense. Uh, the armed forces, of course, moving from ISO to external defense. Why must this get done? And is this because the threats are changing um, and soon they will no longer be unconventional threats? Yes, uh, you're right, Pia. Uh, the threats are really changing, especially now that uh, we have gained so much in our counterinsurgency campaign. And uh, with the uh, with the LCAP uh, in uh, full motion, that we, we are now able to address our inter internal security problems. And uh, with that, uh, for almost five decades now, uh, we have uh, really uh, progressed in our campaign. And it's now time for us to really look into what's happening uh, in our uh, external uh, territories. And uh, as uh, it is right now, we have a lot of uh, changes when it comes to the uh, threats uh, that is, we are confronting with uh, in uh, in the West Philippines, in particularly. That's why we really have to address our external defense, and with that, we we really have to go into modernization. But, uh, General Fasino, let's break down uh, ISO even further. Let's talk about the battle versus communist guerrillas and local terrorists. First, the New People's Army. You say that uh, they're decimated. Are they really? And what led to that? You mentioned the LCAC already, so the NTF LCAC, no. Um, this whole of government approach, ito ba yung sinasabi ninyo that is responsible for this? Uh, yeah. Although it has come under a lot of criticism also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ngayon, uh, Pia, dahil nga sa nag, nakakita tayo ng naging game changer kasi yung, ano, yung, yung LCAC, uh, sinabi mo maraming bumabatikos. Pero sa totoo lang, ito ay naging game changer, itong EO-70, National Task Force LCAC. Mm -hmm. And with that, it became uh, like uh, a whole of government at, uh, at the start that it became a whole of nation approach ang nangyari sa so, lahat ng agencies, lahat ng local chief executives, lahat ng local government units at ang um, private sector ay aboard doon sa ating whole of nation approach. And ito yung talagang nakatulong para pabagsakin yung insurgency. General Andy Centino, uh, CGPA, uh, it just recently an NPA leader, no, uh, George Madlos Kaoris killed in Bukidnon. Uh, you say this was an encounter, the other side says otherwise. How significant is he in the NBA High Command? And, yeah. Yeah, for s several years, uh, Pia, the uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines, uh, uh, in the area of uh, Mindanao, we have the Eastern Mindanao Command and we have the 4th Infantry Division. 